What's going on everybody, I'm YouTube's ProPJN. Welcome back to This Is The Police. Now, I'm sorry that I didn't upload yesterday. Um, I had a problem with my voice that needed some urgent attention. But it's all good now, it's all sorted, we're getting back into it, let's go. Alright, so we're on day 8. Uh, city Treasury deals out $90,000 for Mayor's birthday. Six new restaurants to appear in the city by new by year's end. Mysterious Robespierre, Ro Robespierre, Robespierre announces political ambitions. Ah, oh, Jack, 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 with your shitty car. Oh, how it works, Doctor Eleanor Waterbury. Mister Boyd, this is a simple test. I'll show you a card with an abstract image. You look at them and tell me what you see. Okay. Um. A man taking... Yeah! That's kind of what I see. A man taking a handful of um, pills to a barn. Um. A... Butterfly. I saw a Christmas tree, yeah. What did I see? Um, a man, yeah, I saw a man giving a Christmas ornament. That's what, I, honest to God, I'm just answering honestly. Um, what did I see? Um... No, woman dropping the Christmas ornament. This is telling a cohesive story. Um, uh, an ice cream cone? Um, hmm. Man with the head of a rhinoceros? Um, I see the woman slapping the man. And the man pushing her away, that's what, exactly what I'm seeing here, and I think I'm being wed to see that. Um, a pile of autumn leaves. Thank you for your time, Mr. Boyd. I'll inform you about your test results in the coming days. Day nine. That was an easy fucking day. There we go. Uh, she broom re-elected as the general attorney. Mayor businessmen ready to invest in the future of the city. No black employees at City Hall. Mayor says, accident. Ha! I fucking told you I wasn't going to get rid of my black employees just because of the color of their skin. I'm not about that life. So fuck you. My neighbor died. And his wife asked me to help with the funeral arrangements. Can I have the day off? Yeah, you can have the day off, right? Oh, stripes. Who do I give the stripes to? I want to give it to Samadhi. To be honest. Samadhi did a fantastic job in the last one, so... Here's to you. Did I turn this... I keep forgetting, like, whether or not I fucking turn this up. I think I turned it up. I fucking A. I I honest to God. Alright. Here we go. From City Hall. A few months ago, an unregistered feminist organization appeared in Freeburg. Today, they are holding their first protest. As far as we know, the organization is backed by foreign sponsors, and their goal is to get their people into important positions in City Hall. Protests may escalate into something more serious, and we need to show them who's in charge. Use batons and tear gas, even firearms if necessary. Let's show them what intimidation looks like up close and personal. So am I meant to be sending people there? Is that what I'm fucking doing? Feminist protests in Desire Park. About 50 women are gathered in the park chanting, let us be successful. Alright, let's send in SWAT, uh, Samadhi, and Vandal. 
I think that they can... Oh, no, I actually have to send in a bunch of people. All right, Birch and... And Robbins, which I feel like is going to be a mistake. Protection. Jack, we have a problem. The chief prosecutor of Freeburg is a woman, and it seems she's on the side of the feminists. You might be walking into some serious legal troubles. We'd better play it safe and fake some evidence to shield you from the possible prosecution. Evidence against Richard Van Dahl. We'll forge a recording of a telephone conversation in which one of your officers says he hates women and he couldn't wait to turn their faces into a bloody mess. Oh, no, I don't want to do that to Van Dahl. Um... We'll forge a letter in which the Mafia says feminist organization is getting in the way of their business and demands you suppress the protest by force with the threat that they'll go after your family. Oh, I kind of want to. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, why'd they do that? Ah, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, psychologist. Mr. Boyd, your, psych your psyche is in good shape. My only concern is your stress level. My research shows... That Beethoven's music soothes and relaxes the nerve system. I recommend you invest in a bit of in a bit of good old Ludwig van. It will help with any violent urges you may be feeling. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, a what is this hostage situation? Well, fucking SWAT would be helpful for this. How long do I have to do this one? 30 seconds. Alright, let's see if I can get SWAT back in time. I don't think I will. Um, suppress the, fro the protest by force. Yeah. Yeah, if they're getting aggressive, then we kind of have to suppress it. Alright, we got a hostage situation. Oops. Jack, we have something going down today at the casino at 1240. We wouldn't want any policemen crashing the party. I think $8,000 should be enough for the request. Okay. I need to get some cash back in the system. Um, hostage situation. A dissatisfied client entered some law offices with a pistol, took several employees hostage, and demanded a meeting with the firm's partners. These shysters Jews took me for a ride. They sucked up all my money, and my son went to jail. All right, Stavall... Uh, Samadhi, Robbins, Samadhi, let's go Stavall, Samadhi, Robbins, and Birch. Oh, here we go. Um, a young woman set fire to the theater during a show and fled. Let's wolf and these two gentlemen. I love the investigation parts of this game, to be quite honest with you. Like, the police work is awesome, but the fucking detective stuff. That's what I love the most about this game, to be quite honest with you guys. Ooh, the hostage report. Here we go. Offender court. Officers unharmed. Civilians unharmed. That's what we like to see. Robbery. Dealer at the casino called the police after a man entered the place carrying a grenade. He threw a duffel bag on the floor and demanded that it be filled with money. Alright, let's wait for Stavall to come back because I trust Stavall to get shit done. He's like my go-to cop. Um, oh, this is the arson case. Okay, theater manager. The incident occurred during a screening of the film Stranger Than Paradise. The screen is ruined and members of the audience sustained injuries, blah, blah, blah. I remember a girl with bright red hair. I sold her a ticket that the show started, although I usually don't do that. But she was really, really nice. I noticed a bottle in her hand, but I thought it was a soda. I wouldn't think such a pretty young lady could have gone to the movies. Blah, 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 blah. I sat in the last row a few minutes after the film started. I heard someone enter the room and slam the door. I was going to say something because I don't like it when someone distracts me from the vision. Blah, 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 blah. 
Then I saw a flash of fire and a flaming bottle, blah, 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 blah. When the screen called fire, I thought it was part of the show. I knew, you know, you know what I heard. Uh, that guy is from the nut house. When the fire started, I mean, they started looking around for a way to get out, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So we don't have more information at the moment. Okay. All right, everybody back. Go. Stavall. Samadhi. Uh, take Grant with you as well. Why not? Get Grant some experience. What's this? Mr. Boyd. Today we installed a new slot machine system called Super Magdalen 3. Last time we put a new one, one of the bigger kids almost broke it the first day. It would be great if you could send us a couple of your men to keep the kids under control. No, you're actually asking the cops to be... To just send... Like, you think that I've just got the manpower to just be like, Hey, we can go and supervise this gaming arcade. Yeah, fuck you! Oh, situation is more serious than we thought, requesting reinforcements. Alright, we need to send um, the other two in. Uh, suspicious individual. Uh, Birch, get in there. That's gonna have to, this is gonna have to just fucking either wait or not happen because we got a more serious situation going on right now. Uh, disorderly conduct. Uh, again, we've got a lot bigger things happening right now, so... Here we go, here we go. Uh, Christopher Sand, Jack. We don't know what you... Why you did it, but we hope it was for a good reason. Don't forget who your friends are. We don't want any more trouble. Oh, I didn't know which one was his. Like Doctor spots the police, grabs a scalpel... And boldly shouts, come on, I release your souls from this filthy world. Um, uh, hit him with the taser. We needed to do that. Alright. Uh, feminist protest. City prosecutors have reason to believe that you seriously exceeded your ju judicial powers during today's feminist protest. Uh, we're calling you in for official questioning. Oh, fuck. There we go. Everybody's good. Everybody's awesome. Everybody's good. Disorderly conduct. I don't have people to send. Unfortunately, I don't have the fucking manpower to be able to just be like... Ooh. Jack, we're about to bring in a large shipment of alcohol. But we've heard that our new partners like to play tough. We need a couple of your guys' insurance. Uh, no. You're not risking my officers' lives. For your shit. Alright, uh, disorderly conduct. That can be done by... Staval and Samadhi. And this can be done... Uh, by you and Grant. Done. Look at that. We didn't even miss anything. Fuck. There's something else. Call came from a hotel occupant who was concerned about the cries of a woman in the adjoined room. Sounds to me like someone's being raped. Said the frightened elderly woman. Okay, uh, let's send Robbins and Birch... But that's gonna be it because we don't have any. We don't have any more reinforcements that we can send at the moment. All right, awesome report. Ah, oh, the detective. We've got it. Okay, so she walked in, she threw that, and then she did that. That was easy. A student about a month ago, she unsuccessfully applied for an usher job. Ah, oh, okay. Alright, we need to wait for- oh shit. Uh, no. 
I can't send anyone, I'm sorry. Offender court, officers unharmed. Good. Uh, everything went great, boss. In fact, it's been a while since we had that much fun. Beat the hell out of play of playing uh, Hellfighter. Okay. Oh, thank you for your help, Mr. Boyd. Thank you. All right, once the Vol gets back, we'll send him to... Good God. Door to one of the rooms on the second floor is standing ajar. And though it can be seen as a large man holding and carrying a girl by the neck, he's striking her in the face and shouting, Shut up, you whore. I paid you. Now be quiet. Um, point the gun at the man. The girl manages to escape, but her pimp leaps, leaps for the man and another fight breaks out. Uh, use pepper spray. The man shoves the pimp away and suddenly jumps out the window. Uh, jump out after him. Oh, that is some superhero shit right there. Good on you guys. You're giving us a good name. I like these guys. Fuck, I missed out on doing that. By like a mere five seconds. Are you kidding me? Urgh. By mere five seconds. This a What's happening? Oh, end day. I was like, what the fuck is happening? Boss, I quit. I just want to spend more time with my family. Fuck you! Who was that? Oh no, you were a good per- Aww. Motherfucker. Day 10. July 24th. Alright, we'll do one more day and then um, I'll wrap it up. Local, local resident denounces mayor for theft of antique necklaces. City employment rate drops below 1%. Police break up feminist protest. I think I'm going to regret breaking up that protest, to be quite honest with you. I feel like it's going to cause a lot more fucking headaches than it's worth. Alright, this is the dream team. This is like all the good people. Except for Price. Price, not so much. But everybody else... Price, not so much. Alright, let's start there. With my shift B, let's get some booger flavors going. Alright, alright. You can still kind of hear it in the background. It's very, it's very faint. Okay, this is the one I want to start with. Alright, so Wolf, Koshi, and Asano can go. That the detective, there's a low chance of success. Are you sure you want to send the cops away? No, actually, we won't do that then. Won't do that. Um, City Hall. Janice Grant is today a hero, having pulled a drowning Senator Wallace Green from the river. And uh, the Senator's recommendation has decided to, to reward his outstanding officer. The ceremony is scheduled for July 27th and the event will be open to the press as well as Mr. Green's family who wish to personally thank the police. Make sure nothing unusual happens to the officer um, so you'll be able to attend the ceremony and get the award. No problem. Feminist protest. Don't forget to prepare for the upcoming meeting with the prosecutor tomorrow. Ew. Well, that are not a good. Um, let's, um, request, uh, a cop. Attempted murder. An ice cream van struck a schoolboy. The ambulance arrived quickly, but the boy was clearly dead on the scene. A nearby resident, uh, enraged and demand justice for the driver of the van. He's currently holed up inside the ambulance while the paramedics try to reason with the crowd the situation is quickly spiraling out of control all right koshi that is you i can't send anybody else can i no um oops my bad clicked out of it all right uh koshi you on that i really do want to send someone to solve this arson case but without um the detective, it's it's kind of pointless, I think, in a way. Because I don't think it'll get done without the detective. 
So I'll, I'll wait one more day um, until we've got that. Jack, some black gangsters hit up one of our shops. It's too much for us to deal with. Can you help us? Okay, we'll send uh, McNally, Asano, and Price. Because we got a bit of a bigger squad on this one. Situation is more serious than we thought. Uh, this is the attempted murder. Let's send... Let's send Purdy and Austin as backup. Okay. So we've still got two left. Two officers. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy with this. As long as nothing drastic happens, like a million fucking cases... Oh, here we go. Mafia assignment. Jack, we have something going down today at the courthouse at 6.30. We wouldn't want any policemen crashing the party. I think $6,000 should be enough. Okay, courthouse, which is... Somewhere. Noise complaint. You really need that many people for a noise complaint? We'll send the other two officers. Alright, the attempted murder. How we go? Offend the court. Good job. Everybody's unharmed. Look at that, everybody, everybody's doing so much better. Everybody's just doing so well. I like it. Uh, Henry Sam Road. Mr. Boyd, I manage a large fleet of vehicles and wanted to organize a workshop for my new drivers. They have to learn how to behave on the road. So your patrolman, uh, yeah, whatever, take them. All right, go. We've got more cops coming back, especially uh, Koshi now, which I like. Sawmill was surrounded by a nine-foot fence, and the gates are locked from the inside. Shouts can be heard from within. Um, ram it with the cruiser. Man is threatening a, a young boy with a circular sword. The man is screaming hysterically. Um... No, just aim your gun and tell him to release the boy. Please tell me he was unharmed. Oh, thank God. I was like, my heart for a second there. I was just like, oh, no, did I just get that little boy killed? Robbery, drugstore. An emergency call was received. Okay, let's send Koshi and Purdy. Awesome. Everything is awesome. Everything is good. I so want to do... Uh. Chief, we rode along and went for the basic for the empty head drivers. We're done for the day. Meanwhile, Mr. Sand dropped off a brand new wagon. It's a nice piece of equipment. Too good for the idiots will be packed inside. Oh, so you guys are done for the day? Great. But we did get a free wagon out of that. That was actually... That's smart. In a way. Okay, so 6.30. This is... Okay, the homicide of the court... I don't need to do anything for that. Offender court officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Good job, dynamic duo. All right, so that's the mafia one. I'm gonna leave that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna gonna leave that. So that I can get some of the cash back that I kind of spent. All right, we got an assault in a residential area. Emergency medical services arrived to the call of a man complaining about chest pains. While they were treating him, the man suddenly attacked one of them, shouting wildly about the global pharmaceutical conspiracy. Other personnel managed to escape and called the police. Koshi, Yancey, and Pur... No, not Purdy, just in case we get another one. Austin can go. Austin, you need to rank up a little bit. These guys will help you. Alright, we got a thank you from Christopher Sand. Yep. Ah, oh, no, the offender escaped, civilian killed. Well, look, we can't be everywhere at once. We've got so many cases on the go at the moment. Can't be everywhere. Door to the apartment is locked from the inside, and 
unintelligible screams can be heard. Um, break the door down. Victim is bound and lying to the floor. The assailant is sitting on top of him, waving a syringe filled with an unknown substance. A bottle of bleach is on the floor nearby. Um, uh, reason with him. Man jumps up and grabs some papers. Everything is written down here. All the evidence you'll need. They created the medications to control your minds. Okay. Um, uh, okay, let's, let's play along. There we go. There we go. Sometimes you don't need to go in guns blazing. Sometimes you just need to indulge the crazy in the crazy and then that's good enough for them. And that brings us to the end of another successful day with Shift B. I like Shift B. They're very good. Okay, today is the, uh is the uh the court case so we're gonna get into that next time we're actually going to court i hope that we actually get to play the court and it's like a scenario that we have to uh play out which i'm sure it will be but um hey that's gonna be awesome for the next episode so we're going to court next episode but for now thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys are still enjoying this as the police if you are, please give it a big thumbs up to let me know that you're still enjoying it. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you have not already, guys. That helps me out a lot. There are links to my social medias in the description box. And as always, there's a link to the ProPJ merch store down below. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. And until next time, I'm YouTube's ProPJ and peace out. Beyond your trembling skin, beyond your wayward feet. And every solemn promise that you swore you would keep When you saw yourself